Hi, it's Melanie here and I am doing this video especially for parents. Um, they're not able to come into the library so I just wanted to show you one way to navigate the library and find books for your school-aged child. So here we are on the library's website. I'm going to click on catalog. It's going to bring us here and I want to point out this uh, reading levels and I'm going to have you click on that reading levels now this is the AR reading level um, and I understand the school doesn't use that but I think it's still a good tool to search for books for your child um, and rather than actually doing their reading level you might do it that way that's perfectly understandable I would do it more um, on your child's grade level so if I had a third grader, I would do 3.0 to 3.9. And I would hit reading level search. Now it's going to come up with lots of different books, over a thousand books that we have at a third grade reading level. And um, if I were to go over here and show collection, this shows you that third grade level reading books are in lots of different categories. Um, easy, that is a picture book. Um, we've got nonfiction, first chapter. Um, as I go down to show more, you can see that there are lots of different choices, including teen books, which aren't going to be appropriate for a third grader, but just just so you understand that there are uh, third grade level books um, written in most most all of the, the collection, the library's collection. But here we are. I want to um, choose some books for my third grader. You'll see that these are ebooks. So um, I actually want physical books that I want to check out at the library. So I'm going to go over here and say I want um, some read aloud books that I want to share with my child and then I'll um, look for a book, a chat, say a, a read aloud chapter book that I want to read to them and maybe some books that they would want to read themselves. So if I was going to choose some um, picture books, here's loads and loads of picture books that I might want. So um, say I want one, I just place it on hold. Um, I want the first available copy. Yes, I do indeed. It's going to give me um, a pop-up that has my library card number and my password. So it looks like I've already been in there, so that pop-up didn't come this time. But the first time that you do it, it'll come up with your library card number and your password, and it will collect all the things that you place on hold. So I would go through and make choices um, of the covers that I like. Um, lots of different choices. And say I want to go back and I want to see which are the ones that um, are in the chapter book. I'm going to remove that um, easy and I'm going to go back into collections and I'm going to see a book say I want my third grader to read their own book and my third grader doesn't really like thick chapter books so I'm gonna choose the first chapter J first chapter which gives me some of those thinner books that I think my third grader would read and so I can browse through here and make choices about which one my child would read now you'll see that this one's available this one is checked out. You can always put items on hold that are checked out. Um, but say I wanted to pick these up um, within a day or two and uh, and so I want books that are actually in the library. So I'm going to be looking for this available to find books that I want to check out. So I would make all of those choices um, and I'm just going to pretend I click this one um, and again, to go back to that, um, that spot on the side to choose a different type of chapter book, I would go back here, go to collection. Say I've chosen some thin chapter books, early chapter books 
for um, my third grader, but now I want to read aloud. And so I'm going to go to juvenile fiction. That's kind of the next level up, even though, you know, it's this, it's within the same uh, reading level. It's just a thicker book and um, it might be a little bit older and it might be a book that I want to read aloud to the family. So I would go through here and choose something. If I want to look more about like, ooh, this looks interesting. Does this look like a good choice for my family? I might click in here and find out a little more about what this is um, before I make that choice. So say it all looks good and I want to place a hold on that. Then I would just click this button right here to place that hold. But I don't actually want to do that. So I'm going to click off of it. So that is how you would do it. You, um, you use that um, AR levels to your advantage. You know, if you can always tweak it to whatever you want it to be. Um, if you don't want the 3.0 to 3.9 for your third grader, you can also go with, uh, you know, a lower or higher, whatever works for you. But um, I find that that um, often has the books that are written for that that age group. Thanks, and we will have more videos about different ways you can search on the library's website.